Alright guys, in the last episode we saw variables. Variables are all about saving data inside little boxes called, well, variables. So in this episode we'll just be covering loops and the loops, these are going to be the most common uh, loops that you'll be using nearly all of the time. So let's get into it. My little loops here with uh, links to my tutorial loop script. I'm going to just head over to that script and make a simple loop that counts the numbers 1 to 5. So we have numbers 1 to 5. Now you could do a series of log, like log 1, log 2, etc. like this, and all the way down to 5, etc. But we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing this in three lines. So we're going to be using a for loop, 4, 1, 2, 5. So a for loop is basically a loop that iterates th that would iterate through the different numbers. So it starts with the for command, and if you hover over the command, it'll tell you how it works. You input a variable, which will act as a counter, and then you put the start and end, and then the step. So, for example, we could count one, two, three, four, five, or we could or we could count uh, five, ten, fifteen. 20 and 25 if we set the step to 5 but we're not going to be doing that we're just going to be doing a 4 1 to 5 so all right so uh let's just put a counter here so it could be via counter or you could like count uh whatever you want the start point is 1 uh, take the habit to not put spaces uh between parameters of uh multiple different fields it can be it can mess you up and then 5 and of course we could put 1 or we could not put any at all, it's it's 1 by default, but if you want to go by 2, it would be 2. So which I'm just going to put 1 just so that it, just to show how it works, and then log the count, which um, should, in if you guys have paid attention to the last episode, this is a in, an integer variable, so it's a number that I'm now logging, so I'm logging the current instance just there. So let's have a look and log that count. And then to finish a for loop, you can put next. There we go. And when you run that, it should log the numbers 1, 2, 5 in chat. There you go. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Just like that in the default light blue color of the macro mod log function. All right. Now, if we wanted to log the numbers 1, uh, 6 to 10, for example, we could just change this to 6 and this to 10, for example, in the second loop, yeah, but we're not going to be doing that, uh, just, you can also set the start, put variables inside the start and end function, so for example, if I was to uh, set, for example, a minimum value, so I'm going to put a minimum value to 6, and set a maximum value to 10, there we go. I it, I could count from the minimum value, so I'm gonna I'm using it as an input. So just gonna input it like that and set the maximum value over here. So it will now read from minimum to maximum. So um, at the top of the script, I could set my minimum and maximum value inside these variables, and now it will count from six up to ten, like this. So if I can just loop through that, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. Perfect, as expected. All right. Um, now you can make it count down. For example, if I went from 10 to 6, so if I put 6 in the max position, 10 and like that, it will also do the same, but it will count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 um, with a step of 1. Now, I could also make it so that it starts at 1 and finishes at 60, but I will also add a variable for the step. So just quickly going to do a step variable here, and I'm going to also set the step to 12 or 10. 10 is probably better. There we go. I'll set the step to 10. There we go. And now we can see that it'll go up in 10s. There you go. 11, 21, 31, 41, 10. Uh, 51. So it adds 10 every time to the number. So uh, if you really want it to go up by exactly 10, you start it by 0. So max at 60, put a step of 10, goes up at 10 every time. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 
and that's basically um, the very basics of the for loop. So it'll go for a counter and then it'll go through. Now it doesn't have to be a counter but it can also be an array. Alright, next up we, I'm going to be talking about the do loop. But there are two types of do, while, do loops. There's the do while and then there's the do until. Each one has its own use. So uh, these ones have conditions and then you also have the do loop but this one we've already covered in the in the previous episode so I'm not going to talk about it today. Alright so now we, that we have our do and while we're not going to be do loop as I said before. We now ha we're now going to set a counter at the top to zero so uh, we can just keep track of what happens to this variable as it goes through the loops. So I'm just going to call this a uh, variable or count. Yeah, there we go. Just count, call it count. Uh, set it to zero at the start. And here we want the count to be equal to five when it comes out. So in this script, what we're going to do is increase the counter. So hashtag count by one. And then we're going to just log that counter. There you go. And now it's going to do this uh, in a loop. So while uh, this is the condition in here is true, it's going to loop and count. So what we want to do is check whether count is less than five, because when it's over five, it'll count. It'll um, it'll be it'll be false right from the start. So uh, we're going to check. We're going to give it a the count variable and right now it the count variable in the first loop is equal to one since we just increased it by one now it's not equal to five yet but it is inferior to five so we're going to put inferior to five and now it's inferior to five it will do the loop again so while this condition is true it's going to keep doing the loop until the count is inferior to five and now let's set a second count counter so I'll call this one var var count there we go and I'm gonna set that one to zero so exactly the same starting situation as the one just above uh, except that now we're gonna check we're gonna be doing the exact same uh, script in the middle so we're gonna increase the the counter by one and log it but this time, we want var count to equal five, so we're going to keep increasing it until var count is equal to five. So equal or superior to five, you know, superior to five. And there we we should have a two loops: one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, six, because uh, the until checked whether the uh, value here was superior to 5. We could put superior or equal to 5 and there it will be superior or equal to 5 and there was equal to 5, it was true and it stopped. So the different, the only difference between these two is that until is until you reach a certain threshold so until a certain condition is true and this one is while a certain is so this is going to continue as long as it's as long as the condition is true this one is going to continue as long as the condition is false. I'm going to type that continues continues so long as the condition is true. There we go. So that's the two um, simple variables on that side. I'm going to add the simple for I'm, I'm going to add the simple for loop that uh, we did before just above where we set our min and max. So for the counter you have to count from the minimum to the max from min to max. All right, that's that's pretty clean. Um I'm just going to put the set min and set max underneath this one here. There we go. So next next counter, I'm just going to remove the logs because I don't want them showing in chat. It's still going to be doing it. Next up, uh, let's make an array. So I'm going to cover arrays in the next episode, in a future episode. But for now, you can make do with this one. So you can either do it this way or do it this way, where it'll add every word inside an array and then we'll be using the for each. 
the way it works is that you put in an iterator and it'll iterate over the array. So in this case, we, I'm going to put in array like so. You have two ways of doing it. You can do it either way. So this way or this way. Either, either one of those two has the array, the content, and the index uh, variables that you can use. So in this case, I'm going to use the uh, array for, that I set up here. You don't have to name it array. You can also call it, for example, Arte or RK. Really, it doesn't matter how you name your variables, so long as you name them. <laughs> All right, um, for each variable, you want it to, so for every element in here, so the content is the element at which, uh, of is the con is the element with which you're dealing with. So, for example, for it'll go through. So for this one, it'll go through the loop. Then for this one, it'll go through the loop. Then for this one, it'll go through the loop. And then for this one, it'll go through the loop again. So for every element of that array, it'll go through the loop. So I'm going to put a little and word and a little hashtag index. So index just ind index and a for each finishes with next just like the normal for loop don't forget to unset your arrays I it, unless it doesn't really matter but like all right so for each we're gonna log the index and the content you have the index that's gonna be here so in the array index one we're gonna put this so for each you put the array the word and the index so I put ind or content or whatever then the IND, there's, there we go, I just got the variable wrong. There we go, now we have this is an array written in chat, so it starts at zero. This is um, pretty important to know that arrays start at zero and they don't start at one. So yeah, that's um, the very basics of um, loops and arrays that you can use. Uh, enable to uh, go through different items, uh, different different. Um, Things. So it's essentially going to be used inside the crafting tutorials and things like that, which are coming very soon. We will have in the next episode, inventories. So in the next episode, we'll be dealing with inventories and all that stuff. So we will be using these le loops uh, that we have just seen inside the, inside the, the, um, the different inventories, like the chest and crafting bench and so on. So, um, yeah, uh, good luck messing around with the loops for now on, just for the couple of few days, and then I'll see you guys when we get to making loops. Bye-bye.